Everybody. My name is Clausen. My name is Michaela. And uh, we built this uh, Toyota Sienna camper van ourselves um, and have been traveling in it full time for the last three to four months. Uh, we prioritized uh, sleeping and practicality uh, when building this thing out. Um, so we paid about $7,000 for it. So that includes the car itself and then the conversion that we needed to do. We took a lot of our ideas from the YouTube community itself. Um, so thank you guys. Specific shout out to Shen Yi. Um, we took his design and then made our own. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to share with you all the different modes that the camper has. That includes the uh, cooking kitchen area that's in the back and the living sleeping area up front um, and uh, also uh, going to share some useful things um, that we bought and whatnot so let's start with the fridge here uh, this is a aptly aptly cool fridge that we got on amazon uh, and by the way uh, we'll link all the uh, all the products we bought in the description below just in case you want to check them out um, this fridge is built on a small table here uh, and the reason we did that is so we can have the uh, the access to the fridge from the inside and out uh, this fridge has treated us pretty well uh, stored breakfast lunch and dinner for up to four to five days so that's been pretty nice on the side here is uh, where we stored our Reflectix uh, for privacy and insulation. Um, as you can see, um, here are the magnet spice holders as well. Um, I'm not sure if I would recommend them. Um, Kayla insisted that we have them, but uh, they've been uh, more of a pain in the butt, in my opinion. Um, this is the counter space. Here's where we cook and also store uh, some of the stuff when we go to sleep at night like phones and uh, wallets etc this is a extra cutting board um, uh, a keyboard hinge uh, that holds this together uh, which we also bought on amazon and um, goes back in down here is uh, we've got two containers of uh, five gallon water jugs um, with an electric pump on top we've got this collapsible sink here that's been pretty handy this actually snugs right in the pump um, and you can uh, wash your hands wash dishes whatever it is that you want to do and it goes back in pretty nicely on the side here, we've got two stackable crates. Here's where we store a lot of our dry foods, um, cooking ware, disposable plates, bowls, foil, um, and there's another one right underneath um, for oatmeal and other miscellaneous stuff. On the side here, we've got our pots and pans. Um, and underneath the crates is where we stored some extra spices. Um, uh, before we get into this, I do want to mention that underneath this table, we had uh, a lot of our miscellaneous storage as well, like the camping tent and um, uh, flat tire kit, things like that. On the side here, We've got our propane stove and uh, some paper towels in the back. Um, there is a cubby on the side um, where we have our propane tank, lighter, cords, and this lunch box, which actually might be the most underrated thing that we bought. Uh, this is um, a product that heats up your food while you're driving. Um, uh, the, it comes with two cords, one for the cigarette socket and uh, wall outlet. So this was definitely a worth it purchase. And the top 
we've got some lights, uh, lanterns, um, and we velcroed a drinking glass and some soap for easy access. Um, let me show you the living space. So this is what it looks like when we are driving. Um, as you can see, we have uh, two trifold mattresses. I'm about five foot eight, and uh, Kayla, how how tall are you? About five six. About five six, and we've both slept pretty comfortable in here um, for the last four months. Um, it's basically like a full size bed. Um, let me show share some details about the design here. Um, there is a foldable piece of plywood that we have here with two hinges. Um, these hinges um, allow this plywood to turn into a flat surface, which turns into a bed. We've got two cubbies where we have four cubbies actually, two on this side and two back there where we uh, store our clothes and um, things like that. <clears throat> By the way, while I'm at it, we've got um, bungee cords uh, that are pretty good for holding these cubbies if you want to take your clothes out and whatever. <clears throat> Over here we have dirty clothes bag, a yoga mat that she never uses, um, and There is this floor here that we bought at Home Depot and uh, we cut it out um, to fit uh, the frame of uh, the van here. Um, it keeps it pretty nice to clean and it looks kind of good too. On the sides here is where we keep our laptops. Um, I'll show you how we use them in a second. And uh, we got lucky enough that in our van, these seats actually turns into, pull it back a bit. And uh, this is how we eat. Uh, pretty nice surface uh, to have a meal and uh, enough headspace so you can actually sit down and just kind of hang out here. <clears throat> I'm going to share um, a way how we live in here and if you want to be on your laptop and stuff. So if you, these back seats come back and this piece of plywood actually holds it pretty well. So you can take the, let me put this here for a second. You can take the trifold mattresses and unfold them into an inclined chair so you can sit down and be on your laptop whatever whatever another thing i like to share is it also these trifold mattresses also turn into a chair position um i forgot how exactly it does that but right here so just in case you want to meditate or have a little cozy nook that's there as well let me show you um the other side other side of the bed or accessories sometimes i had this uh, usb adapter which i velcroed just in case i want to charge my co uh, cords or my electronics while i'm sleeping some bear spray laptop adapter um and we actually didn't go with the jackery solar panel um i found this other brand uh dokio um i don't I, I don't know how to pronounce it but um this was actually one third of the price and it's a 120 watt solar panel and it works pretty good if you want to camp out and uh, uh when you're not driving it will actually sustain the fridge 
and charge a little bit of uh, the jackery as well. Uh, before we get into the bed and the sleeping area, we do have a privacy curtain. And uh, if you can show them the, the Velcro that we have on top here, that's what we put in uh, before we go to sleep for privacy. So for the bed, we went to Home Depot and got the closet rods and we cut it just enough so these closet rod holder um, on the bed of the frame here um, can support the legs. So we've got one on each side of the foldable plywood and um, what we do is we um, push the seats forward and put the legs um, into the holder and it makes a pretty fine bed. Let me show you how it looks. So once the legs are in the bed, um, it looks like a pretty flat surface and these trifold mattresses just lay flat just like that and you can Ah, you get a good night's sleep right here. Um, and the same thing you can do on this side. And voila. Hey everyone, I hope you liked our video. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please, please leave them down below. We'll, uh, we'll get right back to them. Remember, we have the links to a lot of the products that we bought off of Amazon, so be sure to check those out. Um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye.